What is the stupidest way you almost died? Went to go visit a friend in Gloucester Mass in winter back in high school far from my home. I was planning on staying overnight at their house but their mother who I now know has mental health problems wouldn't even let me in the house because the father wasn't home working a night shift. Friend said sorry bro and closed the door. Almost froze to death waiting outside in 10 degrees Fahrenheit at night. A cab driver saw me slumped on a bench and woke me up. Let me get warm and drive around in the passenger seat while he picked up drunk people out on the town all night. When he finished his shift he dropped me off at the train station and handed me 7 bucks for the fare. Dude probably saved my life and I can't even remember his name. Swam under a shipyard pier at night, solid concrete above me, and lost my sense of direction. Got lucky and found my way out. Edit. Thanks for all the upvotes, awards, and words of encouragement. To add more detail, a friend and I were, assault swimmers, attacking a ship for a training exercise at night. We would swim from pier pylon to pylon underwater. Take a breath go under, push off, and swim 20 feet to the next pylon, surface and repeat. My mask broke and I was doing it with my eyes closed due to having contacts at the time. One time I just kept swimming and felt like I missed the pylon. When I went to slowly broach the surface I found myself under the concrete above. I had no idea the pier was even built like that. Put my hands up and oriented myself. It looked dark in all directions but my gut told me to the right as where I came from. After that, I stayed on the surface. Cheers. I snorkeled too far out into the ocean, and it wasn't because it was a riptide, I just got distracted by pretty fish. Stuck my head out the car window BC I wanted to see why dogs loved it. My grandpa didn't notice, rolled up the window, and I choked. He freaked out when he heard the cat-like noises, ironic. I was making while my neck was trying to squeeze through the small opening of the window, but kept raising the window in his panic. Eventually he got it and I was left with a red mark on my neck and no closer to understanding dogs. Edit, thanks for the awards. My grandpa passed earlier this year so it's a nice way to remember him, and I know he get a chuckle to know people found it funny. Edit 2, it was meant to be funny so don't feel bad for laughing. My little sis was in the seat next to me when this happened and she was laughing too. Funny then, funny now. Drove on an interstate during a hurricane and watched all the cars around me get submerged. Being sleepy on the road. Don't. Find a spot and sleep a bit. Grown adult and choked on mozzarella cheese. Was only alone for 20 minutes. Can't imagine the obituary. Choked on a lifesaver edit. Know the hole in the center is not for breathing. Lifesavers have holes in them because the inventor, Clarence Crace wanted to create a unique candy. Back in 1912, 109 years ago. I walked into a back room freezer of a grocery store. The huge door was designed to close automatically. I knew this and went in and did what I was there to do. After 30 seconds, I couldn't catch my breath. I thought maybe I was just working too hard so I stopped and took several huge breaths, nothing. I felt like I was drowning out of water. I had to move as quickly as I could back outside of the freezer and feel to my knees gasping when I got out. It was only afterwards I realized for some dumb reason someone kept open dry ice in a cart inside of the freezer. Dry ice removes oxygen out of the air in enclosed spaces. I almost died from lack of oxygen and would have been an icicle when they found me. Don't beep with dry ice. Came very close, about two inches to backing into a warehouse rack full of two-ton coils of sheet metal when I didn't realize that my forklift was in reverse. I was in second or third grade, I was getting off the school bus and was walking around to the other side to my driveway. Suddenly the bus driver hits the horn, scared the hell out of me and I stopped at the edge of the front of a bus and a dump truck good speeding around. I dunno if the dump truck driver didn't see the lights of the bus or whatever but that driver made a dumb mistake that could have cost me my life. Thinking about it my older sister was up at our driveway waiting for me, probably would have messed her up for life. After that the school district changed bus routes to avoid students having to cross the road to get on or off the bus. While drunk, I sat down outside, to rest for a moment, on a freezing cold winter's night. Fortunately, a passerby noticed me and encouraged me to get inside. I figure I was probably there dozing for several minutes. I'm Italian but have been living in the UK for two years guess who looked at the wrong side of the road while a bus was coming trough? 
Every time I went back to Italy I risked my life for the same reason by getting used to drive to the left and vice versa. I stuck my head in a random beaker to sniff something in Chemlab. I have been very good about wafting since. I was at a water park in Texas with one of those super tall, straight down slides. They had multiple signs saying things like, do not push off before sliding down. Me being an 18-year-old idiot and wanting to race my friend, I decided to push off. That extra push started my slow motion, airborne flight over the slide. I was then staring 100 feet down at concrete and my other friend who had his jaw open. What felt like minutes later, I smacked back down onto the slide and made my way down to the bottom. Thank God for the engineers that planned for suicidal idiots like myself. Unplugging the washing machine with wet hands. My hand slipped onto the prongs while they were still partially in the outlet, and I think my heart stopped for a second before I yanked the plug free. Definitely do not recommend. God I completely beep forgot. When I was like 14 or 15 I found out about breath play from some dumb adult comedy show we shouldn't have been watching. I was curious and dumb so when I went to bed that night I stuck my head inside my pillowcase, with the pillow over my face, and tied it on tightly with a bathrobe cord. Of course my dumb little beep idiot self couldn't get it untied again. I freaked out and was just going nuts pulling on any random bit of cord I could get my fingers into, trying to pull the pillow off, but all I was doing was compressing the knots down tighter. I remember feeling really dizzy and rapidly see-sawing between desperately sucking in hot wet breaths of carbon dioxide, and then just going completely still and feeling like I didn't need to breathe anymore, like I could just lie there peacefully, then suddenly going back to gasping for air again. Somehow I eventually wiggled enough slack out of the cord to be able to get one of the loops up over my chin so I could pull the pillow away from my mouth, and all I could do for a few minutes was just lay there and breathe. I will never forget how cold and wonderful that first breath of proper air was. Beep dumb little beep. Waited too long to go to the hospital. Pre-COVID. I thought I just had a cold. Husband said, go to the doctor. I said no. Three days later, still not great. Husband said, go to urgent care. I said I will if I don't feel better tomorrow. Next day, I tell husband, I need to go to the ER. A collapsed lung due to pneumonia. Three days in hospital plus breathing issues for the next year. Moral. Listen to your spouse. And yeah, got a whole lot of, I told you so, s. Deserved every one of them. Almost got my head squashed by a car due to a small pebble making me fall on the main road. Had had experience snowboarding and went with some friends up a black diamond run. I was scared to fall so I would squat so I would have less distance to fall. The person reading this laughing so far knows this makes you go faster. So anywho, I took a tumble worse than scarlet while going full speed and felt lightness except my hand caught what I thought was a branch. When the snow cleared my hand was wrapped up in a red safety net and I was hanging about four stories off the mountain. That was the most committed pull-up of my life. Great times. I coughed, dislocated my C1-C2 vertebrae and spent six months in a body halo. IDK how close to death that counts, but be careful when you cough. Choked on a small potato at the Pizza Hut salad bar. Completely lodged in my throat. I raced to the loo and shoved my fingers down my throat and it popped out. Walked back to my table and finished my salad. Edit, I was with my boyfriend. He did nothing. I grabbed the waitress's arm. All she did was say is she okay? To my boyfriend. Hence running to the loo to deal with it myself. Cut my inner ankle on a glass cup. For those who don't know, an artery is there and I literally sliced through it. Almost bled out. Thankfully didn't though. Crashed my bike into a parked car. Suffocated by my pillow. May your day be filled with joy and happiness. And please remember to subscribe to Upvote for the best quality content every day.